Welcome back. It is cooking time with HEB, our good friend, Chef Marvin, in the house today. It doesn't feel like fall, but you're giving us a taste yeah, of fall I today. I am, I am. So today I have a couple of different dishes that we did with our butternut squash soup mm -hmm. that comes from Italy. The first one is a ravioli. It's really simple. All we do is grab our jar of sauce here, pour that into a hot pan, and then we add a little bit of heavy whipping cream. Ooh, you're stepping up your game there. <laughs> that kind of takes things up a notch, doesn't it? It does. It's gonna make it nice and creamy, very velvety filling. So stir that together. Then we're gonna add our ravioli, which are, these are our H-E-B um, filled pastas. They're, I already boiled them, so all I'm gonna do is toss them in there and finish warming them up. And how long do you boil the ravioli for? These take about five minutes. So and the instructions are on the back of each package. So right now we have a deal going on. If you buy the uh, pasta sauce, you get the raviolis for free. Mm -hmm. And that's basically the dish there. And you want to keep them nice and al dente, right? Yes. You don't want to overdo it with the boiling. Yes. So I would, at this point, I would just plate it up just how I did down here. With that same sauce, I also made a soup. Ooh. Um, it's a butternut squash soup. I added some some of our HEB croutons and some pecorino romano. And, and it looks like you topped it off with some olive oil. I as did. Well. I did. So very simple dish there. And then I have our truffle mac and cheese. Oh so right gosh. now our truffle mac and cheese has a dollar off coupon. Mm -hmm. Everything's in the box. No need to. All you do is boil water pour the pasta in there and pour the little packet of mixed stuff. That's and you can play around with this sauce too, right? You can add garlic, onion, Definitely basil, you can, you can sage. Add, see, I actually have some sage that I garnished the dish with, so it's gonna be a nice fall um, dish. And then at the very end, we have a bruschetta with our um, semi-dried tomatoes. And I'm using the yellow tomatoes. We definitely also have some red ones at our cooking connection locations. Um, all I did was pull them out of the jar, toasted some bread on the grill, or you could do it in the oven, and then topped it off with the tomatoes, the basil, and the cheese. Chef Marvin, you've given us some great ideas as always. Appreciate it. If you want to check out these recipes, just head on over to our website, clicktohouston.com.